At least three people died and six others injured on Friday after a Russian airstrike hit the regional police department in the Ukrainian city of Krivy Rih, officials said. According to State Emergency Service of Ukraine, dozens of residential buildings, including an educational establishment, were damaged by the airstrike. Donald Trump said he will meet with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in New York on Friday after days of questions over whether the two leaders will sit down together. I believe I will be able to make a deal between President Putin and President Zelensky quite quickly, Trump told reporters Thursday during a briefing held at Trump Tower in New York. Earlier Thursday Zelensky met with Vice President Kamala Harris where she criticized Trump's push for Ukraine to quickly cut a deal to end the war. They are not proposals for peace, Harris said. Instead they are proposals for surrender. Trump on Thursday rejected Harris's criticisms and insisted that he only wants to stop the horror show that's gone on. Asked if Ukraine should give up territory, Trump said, we'll see what happens, and, we need peace. Before announcing the meeting with Zelensky, Trump posted on social media a purported message from the Ukrainian leader asking to see him. The message, which was not confirmed by Ukrainian officials, said, we have to strive to understand each other. The decision to publicly disclose what appeared to be private communications, however benign their contents, was a reminder of the tension that's been brewing between Trump and Zelensky. Ahead of Harris's expected trip Friday to the border, Trump opened the news conference Thursday by calling Vice President Kamala Harris the architect of this destruction at the US-Mexico border. She's got no plans, she's got no talent, he said, of Harris's work on immigration. Trump has built his campaign partly around calling for cracking down on immigration and the border. Trump is attributing the Biden administration's overturning of his immigration-related measures directly to Harris. Asked if he is going to pull his endorsement of Robinson, North Carolina's GOP gubernatorial nominee, Trump neither said yes or no. I don't know the situation. Trump said. Trump has stumped several times in North Carolina since CNN's reporting about Lt. Gov. Mark Robinson's alleged disturbing sexual and racial online posts, but the embattled candidate has not appeared with him. As you know, uh, President Zelensky has asked to meet with me, and I will be meeting with him tomorrow morning at around 9.45 in Trump Tower. And it's a shame what's happening in Ukraine. So many deaths, so much destruction. It's a horrible thing. And one of the things that are very bothersome to me is the fact that Europe is paying only a small fraction of the money that the United States of America is paying. And we have an ocean between Russia and ourselves. They don't. They should be... Uh, equalizing. They should start paying up. I did this with NATO. I made them all pay. I, I don't. It's very unfair to the United States, but I look forward to seeing him tomorrow. We'll see. I do believe I disagree with him. Well, he doesn't know me, but I disagree. But I, I will say this. Uh, I believe I will be able to make a deal between President Putin and President Zelensky quite quickly. It's not a surrender. Uh, what my strategy is to save lives, I want to save lives. Millions of people are dead. Millions more than they even think about. And it's not my fight, but it is a fight to save humanity. That is a, that is a terrible, let me explain. That is a terrible war that would have never happened. For 
nearly four years, we have been living through the worst border crisis in the history of the world. There's never been anything like it, which has brought untold suffering, misery, and death upon our land. The architect of this destruction is Kamala Harris. I can say it for everything. Why didn't she fix it almost four years ago? She's got no plans, got no talent, got no ability to do it. And altogether, she took 93 executive orders that I put on, all which made the border the best border we've ever had in recorded history. And she terminated them along with Joe Biden. Uh, I will say this. I watched about a year ago when uh, he talked about how the illegal migrants are hurting our city and the federal government should pay us and we shouldn't have to take them. And I said, you know what? He'll be indicted within a year. And I was exactly right, because that's what we have. We have people that use the Justice Department and the FBI at levels that have never been seen before. So I wish him luck. I don't know anything about what he did, but... Uh, I don't know the situation. Do you believe that Ukraine should turn over some of its own land to Russia in order to end the war? Uh, we'll see what happens. What's your message to the we'll tomorrow? What happens. Uh, let's get some peace. We need peace. We need to stop the death and destruction. Don't you think? Wouldn't that be nice?